I'm WSA 9 Weather Watch meteorologist Topper Shot. We're looking at a Weather Watch alert for Thursday and Friday. Primarily rain. At one time, it did look like a big snow, but the last three, four days, it has gone downhill if you're a snow lover. So let's talk about the, the American model, GFS. This is Thursday morning at 7 o'clock. It's still dry, uh, mixed precipitation west of I-81. So uh, you have a few hours early Thursday morning to drive. And if you're going to go north, you'll go away from the rain. This is at 1 o'clock. It has rain. does have a mix in magenta here along I-81. And blue has some snow out toward Romney. But look what happens. American model says everything goes to rain in the afternoon uh, on Thursday. This is 7 o'clock Thursday night. Pretty good rains, too. But by 6 o'clock Friday morning, rain in, in the metro. But notice the snow and the mixed line reappearing. And the GFS says, hey, cold air comes back. I agree with that. And you know what? We're going to have some snow. I just don't think there's going to be that much residual moisture uh, with this system. Uh, as a native and a meteorologist, we've seen this time and time again where the cold air just can't quite catch up to the moisture. The only thing that would make this possible would be if a little, a little what we call vortice or a little disturbance, if you will, developed along the cold front, the Arctic front that went through. Then you could have a two, three hour period of snow. Even by five o'clock in the evening, it still has snow uh, across the metro. Again, the atmosphere will support snow. Temps are going to just plummet. But I don't, know, I don't think we're going to see that extended period of snow. OK, European model similar. It is dry around the metro. It has some mixed precipitation a little further north, a little further east. And then it spreads rain across the metro. This is by 1 o'clock. A little bit of snow and a mix west of Romney, essentially west of the divide. But that goes to rain, too. And then we're looking at you know, some pretty good rains Thursday night up and down uh, I-95. And then... By 5.30 on Friday, yes, it says, OK, here comes a mix. Here comes the Arctic front. Still rain everywhere else. And it tries to turn some of this to snow along I-81. And I don't have a problem with that. That's 11.30 in the morning. Still rain in D.C., but here's the difference. By 5.30, it's gone. Whereas at 5.30 in the evening on Thursday, uh, Friday, uh, the GFS American model had, had snow. So we'll see. I think we're going to see flakes. I hope so. My grandnieces are in town. They've never seen snow. Uh, let's hope we at least see uh, flakes. OK, but this is primarily a rain event and a pretty good soaking rain at that. Uh, by the time we go through Friday evening, 1.2 DCA, 1.4 uh, in Gaithersburg, Leesburg, an inch and a half in Frederick, a little more uh, up in Hagerstown. So a good soaking uh, rain across the, uh, the metro. OK, so let's talk about travel. This is Thursday travel now. If you leave early enough and go up 95, you will miss the rain. You'll be ahead of the storm. But again, it's all rain, 51 in New York. There's that little mixture out toward I-81. If you're going to go west uh, out 68, you're going to have some problems early Thursday morning. You have big problems out in the Midwest. I mean, big problems. This is going to be a major storm uh, for Chicago. Uh, we're looking at maybe blizzard conditions Thursday night into Friday. Winds could be 60 miles an hour. And look at the cold air, 7 degrees in Kansas City. That <laughs> is um, some pretty serious Arctic air, and that's rolling in here. No matter what happens Thursday, Friday, that Arctic air gets in here. Down to the south, it's mild with some showers. Uh, not a huge problem uh, for Hartsfield, but, you know, still, rain can slow folks down. And the wind in Houston and Dallas could be a problem flying in or out of those airports, too. Pacific Northwest, your eyes do not deceive you. 22 with snow in Seattle and Portland, clouds in San Francisco, uh, Sunshine in L.A. So pretty quiet along part of the coast, but snow in Seattle. And remember, when it snows in Seattle, Washington doesn't usually snow in Washington, Washington D.C. OK, here's the uh, breakdown. Thursday morning, 6 a.m. to noon, mixed, to nor mixed north and west goes to rain pretty quickly. All rain south and east, uh, a morning wick mix uh, along and west of I-81. That's about it. Maybe a few sleep pellets down to Rockville, but it's rain. Rain continues heavy at times. Uh, during the day on Thursday, and the mix goes to rain even in the mountains. Now we get into Friday night, more rain, steady or rising temps. We could be in the 50s early Friday morning. Do not let that fool you because we're going to be in the 20s by noon. Then by 7 a.m. to noon on Friday, winds gusting 20 to 40, falling temps. Rain could change to snow before ending. But one thing is for sure, a soaking rain on Thursday and Arctic air barreling in here late Friday morning.